Hello everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami pterodactyl. This one here is made with Taiyun Ryu paper but you don't need any special paper to make this origami and as you can see here this one is made with normal origami paper Kami paper, I don't know why they call this paper Kami as Kami is paper but anyway, let's start. To make this origami you need one square sheet of paper like this one and start by folding along the diagonal. Now unfold the paper and make a fold taking this point here up to this point and just pinch here this side of the paper. Now make a fold from this point up to this point here. By doing this you can find one third of the paper as I did demonstrate in my last video. So unfold the paper and this point here is exactly one third of the paper. Now fold along the other diagonal and unfold the paper with the white side facing up. Now make a fold making this point here go up to this point here. Now unfold the paper and you're going to fold the other side, okay, making this point here go up to this point here. Now unfold everything, turn the model over and we are going to make a valley fold along this middle line and two mountain folds along these other two lines, like this. Now fold making this point here go up to this point and this point here go up to this point. Unfold these two flaps and reverse fold these two folds we just made. So it's going to be like this. Open the model a little bit and you're going to make a mountain fold along all this continuous line here. So make a mountain fold along all the lines. The model should look like this. Now do the same thing to this side here. And after you finish, the model should look like this. Now fold this front layer, making this point go up to this point here. Now unfold and make a fold, making this point here go up to the middle of this front square. And do the same thing to the other side, like this. And unfold both sides. Now fold making this point here go up to this point here. But be careful, as the model is not going to lie flat, you have to fold this back layer without pressing the front layer too much. So it's going to be like this. And do the same thing to the other side. Now make a valley fold along this line here. When you make this valley fold here, the front layer is going to naturally make two more parallel folds as you can see here. Now carefully you are going to pull this front layer to the right and squash the side of the paper like this. And do the same thing to the other side. Pull the paper to the left and squash the paper on the right side. 
Now squash this middle flap and fold for both sides to mark the base of this flap. Now open this pocket here of this middle flap and squash the paper. Now take this right flap and open in this pocket here. Now you're going to fold the middle of this layer here like in the Tsuru base. Now do the same thing to the left flap. Now fold all these layers to the left and fold this flap here making this side of the flap go up to the middle line. Now unfold and you are going to make a sink fold along this fold we just made. It's like this, you have to open this flap and make two mountain folds along these V-shaped lines, like this. After you finish, the model is going to look like this. Now fold these flaps to the right and do the same thing to this flap here. And the model will look like this. Now fold all these layers to the left and do the same thing here. So fold the side of this flap up to the middle line, unfold and make a sink fold again. Now fold these layers to the right and do the same thing here. and the model will look like this. Now turn the model over and fold this flap here upward like this and reverse fold this flap to inside of this pocket like this. Now fold this flap making the top side of the flap go up to the middle line. Unfold and make another fold making the bottom side of this flap go up to the middle line. Squash the middle of this flap and squash the model like this. Now do the same thing to this other flap. And the model will look like this. Now fold these two flaps upward and turn the model over. Now fold this flap making the side go up to the middle line and do the same thing to the other side, like this. Now find the middle of this top layer here and after you open along the middle you're going to fold this big flap here, this pack of layers downwards like this. Now fold here only one small layer upward like this. Now turn the model over and fold the wings making a 45 degrees angle with the middle line like this. Now fold this small layer here downward like this. And at this point you can already see the shape of the pterodactyl. If I hold in this position here, you can already see the mouth, the head and the wings. 
So now fold everything in half like this. Now you're going to fold, making this line here, go up to this line here. But at this part here, you're not going to fold the head. So, as you can see, when I make this fold, the head is going to bend downward, like this. So, turn the model over and do the same thing here and after you finish this fold you can squash the head and it's going to lie flat now let's make the mouth you just have to pull here this this bottom flap just a little bit like this Now fold the wings along this line here. Now to make the legs, you're just going to pull here. You have these small layers, right? You just have to pull and make a fold like this. And you're going to add one more fold just to narrow the legs a little bit like this do the same thing to the other leg and the model is done so this is the finished origami please do not forget to like this video and even to subscribe to my channel so I can keep creating new origamis and thanks for watching this video see you bye bye